Compass roll to 2024. Tyler is already brought up to be bomb side. It's a straight up B sent, and he's already found the first an opening kill of the round and of this semi final. Goofy's gonna find another on Chiron. Locked out of the bomb side, our bad boom for now. And no kit means no party, especially if all the fights continue going the way of nine. It's going to be a clean pistol round. And they're opening T side. Magnolia has HG. Thanks in a tiny bit, but Goofy. We'll do a whole lot more with a headshot than not expecting Zortex to be the second man there, and he makes things spicy. Two kills, and Chiron with another. Man advantage here for the defense. Smoking towards CT. This fight is going to be really important. And if Daphne goes down, he's not ready for Kyler to be that aggressive, and Kyler's going to take him down. Now this is a little bit more problematic. They still don't know that Chiron has actually went in front of the smoke, but Kyler is surely going to clear it out. Did he spot him? I think he did. The spam opened up a little bit of a hole in the smoke, and... I think he was able to see him, but the bomb is going to go down. This is so risky. Chiron decides not to pick into him. Kyler needs to try and make his way out of the bomb site in time. Respawn towards CT. Danis is not going to let him retrieve. K finds another. It's a one versus one, but Danis manages. Absolutely. Magnolia is going to be tested again here. AK is just flying out. And I'm not wasting any time. It's a very slow game yesterday. Breezy, often coming it down to the wire. Maybe a, a bit of a uh, a culture shock, a, a little bit of a change of pace here, catching Pet Boom off guard. I'd say I'd say culture shock is the best way to describe it. By the way, it's just Polish Polish CS in a nutshell, right? Just disrespect him as much as you can early on. See what you can get away with. Implement that crazy style, but still, you don't want to be riding off Naphany. Uh, not in those rounds, not on Ancient. We saw what happened yesterday, and Dan is quite close to finding that kill. Time's running low, though. They should call it off. They should be thinking about the save. So far as we move into round number six. Oh, it's just this. It's these opening jewels over and over again that are going to knock your confidence, but Chiron pulls it right back, and now we fall into a three on three. Might go over towards middle, especially if Hades finds that kill. This is an awful angle to clear out. Danis, you're never going to be ready for this, even if he is considering it. And now, because they get that kill, K feels like he can activate one person at best towards the B-bomb side. He finds that kill on Tsunapani. And now, it's just the open sword to left. That's been seen as well. It's a nice shot for the first one, but that's all the information that they needed. K can just lock in the rotations. Bomb can make its way back towards the B-bomb side. The clutch is still on for Zorti. But he needs to find that first one on to K. Smoke actually fails a little bit. And uh, that's gonna allow him to have some room to work with. You gotta let him take his own initiative. Go for the plays that he thinks are right. And for Zorte, okay, okay, we'll miss the up shot. But Danis is there for the support again. Yeah, it's a good setup here. Kyler is gonna try to catch a bit of a timing, but... The two players in towards Cave getting the kill means that Chiron can just turn around and focus on Red a little bit more and that denies that timing from happening. 20 seconds only, by the way, as they start making their way back towards the A bomb side. This fight needs to go their way, and it does. K collects that kill. Are they going to be ready for the player on top of the booze, though? This is the million dollar question, and the answer is yes. They managed to find a kill. K finds another double, and somehow they turn this around. 20 seconds, three versus five. Gonna be a play into towards call. the A side. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's a great call. The op's not around. There's no one to stop them. Smoke in towards Donut. Chiron's gonna try and pick up a fight, but he needs to be careful. Kyler's just gonna go for it, and he's found the kill. Chiron finds one before being dealt with. And that's at least gonna keep them competitive. But a three versus five retake and the defuse kit. Yeah, this is problematic. Magnolia's his kit. Obviously not retrievable. Kyler's shown himself, but made over the top. Won't do damage. Still applies pressure. Danis and Zorte are just going to get out of there. Zorte does not have the right weapon for this. Bomb's already too far gone. Let's open him from Kate. Man advantage again. Smoke's in place. We'll give them a lot of space here towards the uh, B site. And there's an AK that's now retrievable. There it is. In fact, it's not an AK. It's an M4. But regardless, a premium rifle. And the bomb beeping away already for Bet Boom. Once again, there's only one kit in play. It's on the Magnolias, and they need to keep an eye on this. They have to. They can wait it out. They still have a couple of flashes and one smoke on the CT side, but Case position is going to be really vital. Smoke's not going to go in towards Cave. 
if they manage to peek on the right timing this is going to be so sticky hades picks up one they need to go there's so many t-side members that are low on hp but so many angles to be worried about as well okay manages to find one now they know where he is but they need to take the deep fuse and oh. sorty finds a double that should give them enough time for the deep fuse and bed boom make it work well it becomes a lot harder to get back into looks like it's going to be a fast play towards b here yep send it out Molly towards the cave, smoking towards the short side. A quick goosh, and Zorti is going to finish it off onto Goofy. Still, one of the players low on HP. That's going to be K, and they have taken the bomb side by storm. This retake, not impossible. They have a kit, they have a smoke, but they need to wait for the flanks, and they got to hope that Magnolias doesn't find a single kill in that fight in towards the B lobby. If he does, round's over. Hades manages to get one. K with another. Danis and Chiron answer back, but this has made a lot more doable. Problem is, kit has been dropped in towards long. And now Hades and Kyler need to be really quick with this one. A couple more nice shots from the USBs, but in the end of the day... It does look like that Boomer teeing up towards an A hit and keep elsewhere. We'll find the first spot. Yeah, that's going to make Kyler rotate back to support the upper though. And this is really good. Hades is going to get the first one, maybe a second. Not quite, but Kyler is there to back him up and get the refrag. Zorty still manages to go one for one, but... There's two more nearby, and that's going to be problematic. Not if Chiron gets that kill. And now it's just Jacob towards the back of the site. Manages to get the first one. Does he realize that the second's there as well? Not quite. Zorty finds one, and surely not. Surely not a second clutch. Does he think about what? it? He does! Zorty, this is absolutely nuclear. They're still in this away. It's slim margins, but they're making it happen. Yeah, this is, this is just so expert by Zorty still. You don't want to be underestimating even those rounds against the pistols. Those are the ones that could sting the most. And Zorty is the one with the bomb. And Hades is going to take him down. That's allowed Goofy to get himself on a rifle. Spray not quite good for the second as well. And Magnolias and Chiron need to save the day. They find the double in the nick of time. And now they're going to try and send it back towards the A-bomb side. And actually, Jacob's just left middle. So they are going to have a bit of a... A bit of an open route in towards that A-bomb side. Bomb's gonna go down, probably. They still have the Utah as well to make sure that... It's safe enough for the C4 to get planted. This round is not over. Especially if Chiron goes down any moment now. This could be on. Diego oh. spotting out the player in towards Xbox, actually. And this is an even bigger disaster. Magnus was the one on full HP. And now Chiron needs to clutch it up. But look at okay, K. He's going to come in so late. There's no way that Chiron is anticipating that. And nine still away to half by for their first and the second half. Got to help you out. It's not going to be an easy map. Chiron trying to put a lot of pressure. And he's deleted Kyler once again. And worst news is, he was the only defender towards that A-bomb side. Now, it has to be the rotation to find at least one. And that's going to be good enough for Jacob. It's going to be good enough to at least justify nine going for that retake. But with him going down to the nades, I'm not sure anymore. Magnolia's holding the back lines. Bet boom, this is for 12. This is to secure map point on their opponent's pick. And nine still kind of working out whether or not they want to go for this. There's no kits. They went fully in on the firepower. And they do not yeah, have the fuse kit. And this is this is a big mistake. I mean, Hades has eight hundred dollars left in the bank. Or like that. This is this is for the map. This is for your map pick in the semi-final. You had to play it a little bit safer, and now at least you've given yourself a chance to try and pursue overtime. And especially with that double kill, Kyler, just getting it with uh, the Molotov. Things are gonna start looking a little bit better here. The bait is actually quite decent and oh no, not like this. Not in a three versus five. Magnolias is still low on HP, same for Zorty. But a couple of headshots might turn things around and Magnolias' anchor is not too bad. Ooh. Great awareness. Yeah, that's lovely. Zorty with the bomb on his back. I'd favor him in a clutch situation like this if he had a few more points of health, but he doesn't matter. He's so quick to the head. They are covering pretty much the, the same play, right? And they can't even hear the top of the bomb here. So Zorte, any moment now, should realize what the case is. And he should realize that he can actually get the bomb plant. And, oh, yeah, he's actually overcooked it. He's going to start sprinting in towards A. And, but they have one more chance to close it out here. And now, and the fight's going to happen in towards middle early on. Kyler, on the other side of the smoke, flashes in. A lot of damage done by the Uto. Kyron's still thinking about swinging through. That's going to be really risky. And he's going to get one. But Kyler with the refrag. Okay, getting aggressive is going to predict Dennis in this corner. There it is. So things go from bad to worse here for Bet Boom in the final round of regulation. Magnolias gets a bit of a chance to get into a fight. 
doesn't manage to get the kill. They are trying to bait somewhat of a reaction for Zorzi's capsulized on, and Magnoyas has actually found one. That might make the Donut player start moving, and oh, he's realized that Kyler, realizing the risk, is going to start going back. 15 seconds, though, and the bomb is sprinting his way back towards the A-bomb side. Even if Magnoyas finds that kill, Zorzi's going to go down. Kyler's dropped the bomb. K shuts down Magnoyas. We are going to overtime. Definitely, again, aggressive through this smoke. No one going to be on the receiving end of it, and Hades... Yeah, and some of those T rounds feels like we've seen a little bit of, of C9 Naf and even, right? The fact that he's willing to risk it and take all that space, risk it and, and the bed boom boys. Now just a one man deficit, but Hades is posted on the angle. Gotta be careful. Timing. Oh, that's a great follow up by Hades. Spacing wasn't too bad at all, but Zorti not quite able to even fire a shot out of that AK so quick from Hades. And Dan is a one versus four, and even with those nice headshots connecting. With only 30 seconds and the bomb being dropped in towards red, I'm not really sure if there's anything that he could do about this round. The A play will come in. Napani on the late flank in towards middle, but Hades posted on the angle. Gets the first one, has the support of the rifle. Magnoyas is going to dispatch of him, and Hades goes down as well. Kyler's left all alone. Is he ready for Napani? Yep, he is. And Kay is actually there to support him and get that kill. So the bomb will go down, but nine going into the retake, have a man advantage. Bedboom desperately need this round to go their way. Oh. oh, scrappy. But yeah, it's not going. Surely not. 1v3 is Orte again. How many times have we seen him in this situation? It's got to be the third or the fourth. And yeah, he's been spotted. No way he gets out of here alive. They're just going to hold him down in the corner. Kyla swings a little too wide. Yeah, you usually do. Thins out those defenses. Makes it a little harder to hold those sights. But you're yeah, trying to boost over the smoke. They're not even going to expect oh. Danis up close. And yeah, Danis trying to walk forward. Realizes he's stuck on something. This would surely be quite a tough pillow to, or tough pill to swallow. Swallowing a pillow, that wouldn't be fun. That would be quite difficult. <laughs> Kyler still manages to get one, oh, and what? Goofy finds another. Wait a second, surely not like this. Surely not in the two versus four once again. Oh my god, he's found and another. Kyler, he's found down Zorty as well. It's just Chiron left, just like that. Bed boom. They've completely collapsed. Kyler's still low on HP. Chiron's gonna give it his best go here. He's got a Molotov. He can force Goofy out of position. This is so winnable. Goofy's gonna go into that fight. Chiron gets the first one, and now he knows where number two is, but needs to tap the bomb. Both of them are so low on HP. It's gonna be first come, first serve. It would be about time. They haven't they haven't played a big LAN in some time, those Polish boys, and qualifying for one, even though it's gonna be in June, is gonna be quite big. Aggression here on the CT side, and this is exactly what McNoyes wanted. And what he was waiting for is going to be the catalyst of that pistol round. Going down the apartments onto the B-bomb side. Danis finds another. And this pistol round is as good as over. There isn't too much to gain from going for this either. And Kyla will be able to find himself one kill. Make that two to be fair to him. Smokes in towards connector and windows to start it off. And they are going to try and send Naphany in towards connector. So it feels like we're uh, kind of seeing a bit of a, a bit of a C9 recap here. But it doesn't work out for him. Gets denied straight away. It was a B split by design, but now the Ops rotated in towards Kitchen, and Jacob's found another one. The refracts come in, but the Ops is still in towards that B bomb side, and Hades has confirmed that they are indeed down on the side already. You gotta be careful. You don't want to give him a clean shot here. It's two versus three. It's not impossible to win, but it's going to be fairly uncomfortable. Molotov to force Danis out of the angle, and it forces him right into Hades, but he still wins the fight regardless. And he's ready for the second one as well. Timing's not great. Jacob needs to find that kill, but Danis is just turning around like a Beyblade and killing. They're really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had loads of mold wine. It was crazy. I was smashed. I don't remember what the dumplings tasted like. <laughs> <laughs> Aggressive in. And now, uh, kind of a nice little response, but look at him, he's just playing in the sea of smokes. How the hell is he still alive? Might even be able to deny this plant. He oh, my oh my god, Kyler. Where is this coming from? He's good for three. They've just lost him. They've lost him completely, and finally they found him, but he's... Uh, I, I think he might have just lost him the round as well. Ops posted on the angle. Zorty gonna go for the peak. Hades doesn't miss those shots. Not in a million years. Even Chiron in the 1v3, but Kay walking out of Palace. The fact that you are playing with a stand and the fact that uh, obviously Danis has been hitting some great form and individually you felt really, really comfortable recently. But that being said, though, this round is not looking like a clean cut anymore, especially with the setup. Goofy needs to find one, though, and Chiron, that's some great awareness. Puts him to sleep straight away. The tags are coming in. It's not clean for Kay. He's still able to finish off that kill, but Nafani 
was close enough for the refrag. And at this point, I'm not even sure if you want to go for this. Well, now you do, especially after the first two kills go your way. And suddenly, it has to be a Zorty 1 versus 2 clutch. Open hand, still towards the back of the side, looking for a more favorable angle to approach this one from. He's going to try and isolate both fights. Tease the first one, but he's been spotted out as well. They know exactly what he's going for. First shot baited out. Zorty manages to get a second, has one more bullet in the chamber. Nine having to pick up a couple rounds in order to actually stay relatively competitive on this map. Oh. Hades, Jacob, doing exactly what's required. As you say, they needed to deliver in this round, and they do. It's a bit of a weird one, to be honest. Bet Boom just not hitting the mark on anything eventually. That is not a round that you can really afford to lose. Jacob at least tries to give them a taste of their own medicine. Ooh. They will, just like that. The pistols again. Year for year, and uh, you get the idea. Round for round, Zorty drops Hades. It's a two versus five, still on the cards with the AVP and the Galil being in the mix. And oh, wait a second, Bakai finally shuts down Zorty. That started looking a little bit more dangerous and a little bit too close for comfort. But Nafani's actually got an open round in towards that A bomb side. Smoking towards top con, bomb's gonna go down. They have no kit going into this one. A fair amount of smokes and a Molotov and a flash, but Nafani, if he plays his cards right, there's two players that are low on HP. He could catch them off guard and he can lock in Jungo. He gets aggressive, flash in, he's gonna hear the player jumping through the smoke. Does that set up the bait for Kato? Absolutely not. Nafani gets the first one, gets the second, and oh! Thank God Jacob was close enough to get that refrag. Smoking towards Topcon should come in any moment now, and there it is. Another one for Deep Jungle. There they go. And oh, Jacob was ready for it, but still loses his life. Goofy with a massive double kill, though. He surely knows. He just has Nafani under a lock and key. And Nafani now has been seen by two people. He should be going down any moment now. There goes the kill. Goofy with another. It's a massive triple from him. And Zorty needs to clutch it up in a one versus four, but it shouldn't be possible. 50 seconds on the clock. He spotted the shadow of Kyler. I want to make sure you don't want to... Give him a chance. Make sure you don't give him any 1v1s in Hades. Into window will force Auto right off of it, though, so they can start to press forward. Close this gap. Yeah, they've spotted the player towards Kondo. I'm not sure if they're going to anticipate Chiron in towards Ladder. There goes one. Looking for a second. Chiron runs out of ammo, and finally Goofy's going to shut him down, but they need some more kills. Kyler finds another, but the bomb has been dropped towards short side, and this could be a little bit of a mistake here. They need to try and recover it. And uh, they might be able to do so. Kyler, with a bonus, they could actually Danis goes down after falling down from the fence. So it is down to a two versus two. And Kyler is still holding that close angle. He's still waiting. You gotta be careful not to give him a free kill, but eventually he's gonna start making his way back towards the bomb site to at least guarantee the plant and the bonus money. Zorty gets that kill onto K. It's another tap on the bomb. Kyler is trying to isolate the fights, but there's just so many players around him. Here goes the smoke. There goes the Molotov. Flashes Ooh. in, and K shuts him down. Nafani is there with a double, though, and this is much more like it, especially with Zorty being in towards default. A couple nice shots from the pistols. But it has been fairly decently handled by the CT so far. Kyler's in a good position. He can surprise the first one, and he's picked up an M4. Ooh. Wait a second, Kyler's picked up a double. This is so big, and now this is doable. Magnoyas is going to try and be the hero. He's going to try and save the day. And he spotted him out. He knows exactly what's going on. Trying to pick up the fight. Trying to tag him down. Even a smoke on to Kyler. Bomb still dropped on the bomb side. So Kyler feels like he just realized it. And he's even going to go for the peak. He's going to have the peaker's advantage. And oh, the mouse jumps. Yeah, there should be no way at this point. I mean, at 5'11", five, at five you're maybe giving them the benefit of the doubt. But now it just feels like it's too far away. Still... It's a good couple opening kills. And the money's not great for the CT side. But Zorty just shuts them down. With the double spray down on middle, perfectly set up by Magnoyas as well with the flashes. Ortiz even looking for more and towards the A-bomb side, already making his way to the stairs. And he's waiting for the rotations to come in from CT. Nades in, making it a whole lot more uncomfortable for the T's, which means that they need to fight their way forward with brute force, and they will do so. Magnoyas left in a one versus two. Late smokes in towards middle. Kyler and Jacob are going to go out any moment now. Bomb is with them as well. And oh, this is great. This is the palace walkout. K is just going to go down the ladder and get that kill onto Nafani. Danis gets the refrag, but there still is one more player in towards the palace. They can just fake the B split right now. They can run it up through connector, especially if Goofy finds another kill. This is going to be so massive. And Goofy's going to shut down Danis. Zorty fights back with one, but he's going to be all alone in towards Jungle. And they just need that one refrag. King Kyler's got it. Bomb's going to go down. 
Do they really want to send it here, Bad Boom? Do you really want to attempt that retake? It feels like they do. Magnoise is going to get close, but he's going to get flashed. And Karen is still in towards ladder. Magnoise, if he goes down, this round is over. Opens off the mark for the first one. And that's him spotted out. Magnoise gets that kill onto Hades. And now this round is on. Now they can try and go for it. But still, Karen is so far away and they have no defuse kit. I'm not sure if there's going to be one dropped on the bomb side, but Magnoise needs to find more. And Kaiser's just not giving it to him. And secondly, that Bad Boom seems to, uh, to struggle to close out maps. Nope. Both get under the pressure. Jacob will be overwhelmed this time. A little bit of damage, but all oh, trade potential. No, won't happen either. Yeah, that's massive, by the way. The fact that K doesn't get that kill, and he's actually going to get denied by Tannis. This is so big. Hades is still after this, but Tannis goes for the peak, and he's going to get it on low HP. Surely this is how it ends. Where it fills them with a bit of confidence. They've got a third map to play. They won the first. Pistol round underway. Bet boom. Getting things rolling. P250 at range, trying to take control outside, but Hades crisps to the head. Yeah, Ooh. Kyler welcomes them with a double. Make that a triple, Kyler. Where does that come from? And he's even going to look for number four. Nafani on the other side of this, but Kyler just shut them down completely. And this is the dream start, especially after the really good opening rounds that we've seen so far from Bed Boom in either game. And Kyler Kyler's jewel here. It's going to be very important. There it is. Okay, lovely stuff. Him and Hades, one, two, sucker punch. Yeah, it's great. I mean, that's going to leave a little bit of a gap towards the round, though. And Jacob, I think, has realized that already. He needs to make sure he doesn't go down here. And he won't. Let's them cross down. Kyler going to try and, try and take first point of contact. Set up the bait for the MP9. Which is nearby as well. And he's actually ahead of that Molotov. This could work out really nicely for him. And indeed it will. Magnoise goes down for nothing. Bomb's going to get planted. But it's two versus hole that they need to hope for. And the door has been blown away. Zorti spotted out by Kyler. He's going to get that kill. And it's a one versus four for Danis. This one is even more impossible than the previous one. First one is his. But they know exactly where he is. He's going to get pinched. And Kyler... You just need to beat them in the keyboard game. You need to outbrain them. You don't need sick game if you're able to outplay them and just set yourself up for a really nice kill. And this is what we've seen so far from him. But speaking of that, Nafani will get one running through the smoke. And he's gone back. So he's on a bit of a mission. And it's been a successful one so far. But there's so many players who are that A-bomb side from the CT side. It feels like every single kill that a T side player gets... It's just to no avail. Bomb will drop down the vent. And I feel like now they realize what's going on. They should still be aware of the possibility of a Nafani encounter in the smoke. And Hades boosts his gun out. That was a really impactful kill. And now it's Zorti up in the clutch. Danis couldn't pull it off. Will Zorti be able to do so? He's being really, really noisy about this one, though. And they've heard the steps, surely. Now he's going to send it back in towards the bomb side, but they're going to play this one together. He needs to be perfect on the spray. Transfer! And he nearly is. Guess the first one. Tag is. Zorti is behind him as well. They have the double set up into our secret. They are hoping that the bomb crosses down there. That's a really great find from Nafani, though. Hades goes for a P. Goes down. That's going to mean that Kyler needs to start moving forward. Danis might not be ready for the second player, though. And Goofy needs to start pressing forward because he realizes that Jacob's all alone. He's still in towards the round. The A-bomb side is completely open for business. And unless Goofy manages to catch the bomb on the way in towards main, this round is over, but the spray is good enough. Goofy, this is massive. And now Jacob needs to drop down from that boost. He needs to get involved in a way. He wanted to get that free kill, but at this point, you just got to start moving. You got to support your teammate. And now he's realized that he's going to make his way in towards the lobby. Bomb's been recovered and is going to go down. Goofy creeping his way through, timing everything. No he will get it. He actually... Looks excited no as he spots him with his back turned. Jacob's cue to just push out and find it. Kit in place and again. This could be bitter disappointment here for the CAS man. And Kay, he's got such a lovely angle. He's not going to let Chiron cross. Nafani will try and walk through it. Actually, being a little bit late on that refrag helps him out. He's going to get that kill. Not sure if he's going to be ready for Hades and towards the warehouse. But they are still losing players towards A. Kyler with a massive double kill once again. It just feels like it's impossible to get past that man. And finally, he hits the ground running. It's an all over the place round, but it has to be another clutch. It's once again quite expensive for the side of nine. But Zorti needs to clutch up. Hades holding the line. They are going to play it together, though. Jacob has doubled back. They're going to approach this one from the same position. Oh. And he wasn't ready for the repeat. AK slows him down. And K has already found that out the hard way. 
Look, Noise needs to be careful, though, because that aggression is coming through, and Jacob's going to pick up that kill, but there is already a CT on top of the roof. Dan is going to make sure that Hades doesn't get anything done with that position, Ooh. and that's a great find by Zorti. This is a lot better now for Bad Boom, but look at Goofy. He's not in a bad spot either. He's going to get at least one no. kill refrag. needs to be instant, and it will be instant from Chiron. He won't try to justify it. Start to fare in towards that a bomb side, but guess who's here? It's Mr. Kyler, Mr. Consistent on top of the hut. Oh, okay. Kyler. Oh. <laughs> again and again and again. Another multi kill, a three piece for it. Could even be a shot at more here as he's trying to spam down math and it drops back into a squeaky. Yeah, I mean, a, a 20 kill half was super impressive in CSGO, right? To be going into CS2 and have a 20 kill half in MR12 is just unbelievable. The impact that Kyle is having here on this third and final map of Nuke just Look shows how hungry he is for this grand final. Jacob in on the flank, doubles up. Kyle... To pick up the pieces, there it is. The 20 frags hit, and yeah, Bet Boom just looked lost. Even yesterday, yeah. the game against Forza didn't look uncomfortable for a nine. They had a great T side. They had an 8 1 T side, by the way. The CT side was where they struggled yesterday, and now it's just absolutely impeccable. And they're gonna try and close it out, sending it out the A bomb side. Kills going left, right, and center. But Jacob finding the refrag, Sorty finally puts an end to it, and Nafani's there to support as well. So it has to be Jacob in the one versus three ace clutch. If he wants to close it out, unfortunately for him, uh, he doesn't have the bomb either. So he's going to have to take the fight to the C keys. The number's in their favor. Oh, careful, because Jacob's going to tear your head off. That's a great pickup as well. Zorty was hoping that someone peeks in towards the left side of red, but gets taken down from main. And Hades has picked up another in towards the ramp. Maybe this is how it ends. He's got the rotations under a lock and give. They want to go down. Timing's absolutely perfect for Jacob. This should be the save. This should be 12 for 9. It's just McNoyes and Chiron left. And if Jacob wins that fight as well, this is going to be the end of it. Doesn't really need to give him that fight, but now he does. Now they've gotten that kill onto McNoyes. They know. They get that AK out of the hands of Chiron. Chiron. Doesn't even look like he's going to be able to save here. This has been such a nice little turnaround for 9. But still they prevail. They refuse to go down, but Hades with another opening kill on the AVP. And every single time a Bed Boom player in those rounds sees the kill feed and spots a fellow teammate falling down early on, that's going to give them the jump scares. That's going to make them even more and more uncomfortable. Every single kill is just getting Ooh. nine closer and closer to the grand finals. And it feels like it has to be Hades, the newly proclaimed leader of this team just moving them closer to victory and Hades is just not missing it's the third for the open surely this is how it ends just Nafani and Danis left on the other side so many chances to close it out on map one on map two they were able to level things up but it was just not meant to be a 2-0 for bed boom it was meant to be a 2-1 victory for nine and the Pauls making it into the grand finals